Hey guys, it is well known that China is a country obsessed with creating colossal mega projects to accommodate its ever expanding population. In recent years, with rapid economic and technological development, China's emphasis on infrastructure has been increasing. China's remarkable achievements in infrastructure have earned it the nickname Infrastructure Maniac. In this video, we will explore the significant accomplishments China has made in infrastructure to see if the title is well deserved. But before we show you these projects, we earnestly ask for your support by liking this video and subscribing to Machine Eye. Currently, only 5% of our viewers are subscribed. Help us to get this number to 10%. We value your thoughts and invite you to share your views on these remarkable engineering feats in the comments below. Without further ado, let's embark on this extraordinary journey. Let's start by looking at the tremendous achievements China has made in bridge construction. Among global bridge construction, there is a widely circulated saying, before the 1970s, look to Europe and the US, in the 1990s, look to Japan, in the 21st century, look to China. This saying fully expresses China's outstanding performance in bridge construction. At present, the five highest bridges in the world are all in China. Among the top 20 bridges under construction or already completed globally, 15 are built in China. Behind China's frenzy in bridge construction lies advanced science and technology and a robust pool of talent. Without sufficiently advanced equipment and tools and the research abilities of Chinese engineers, achieving such accomplishments would be a far-fetched dream. For instance, the Kunlun No. 1, a thousand-ton bridge erection integrated machine, represents a significant breakthrough in the construction of high-speed rail bridges. It is the world's first thousand-ton bridge erection integrated machine with versatile uses and high levels of intelligence, saving significant time and resources in the construction of China's high-speed rail bridges. Let's take another look at an engineering feat in China's bridge construction, the Longin Bridge Rotation Project in Fujian. The main tower and main beam of the Longyan Bridge weigh a total of 23,600 tons. Chinese engineers needed to rotate them counterclockwise by 21 degrees to reach the designated position as per the design. The construction method involving two rotations during the bridge's construction is a pioneering achievement in the field of bridge rotation worldwide. The rotating system can withstand a weight of 25,000 tons equivalent to 2.5 Eiffel Towers. With the diligent efforts of Chinese engineers, the main tower and beam, weighing 23,600 tons, were precisely rotated counterclockwise by 21 degrees, achieving the world's first double rotation construction in the bridge construction field and showcasing China's exceptionally high standard in infrastructure development. Next, let's delve into China's railway construction. As of the end of 2020, China's high-speed rail network had reached an impressive length of 37,900 kilometers, ranking first globally. Just five years earlier, in 2015, the total length of China's high-speed rail was only 24,130 kilometers. As of February 2023, the high-speed railway mileage in China has reached an astonishing 44,345 kilometers. This rate of development is unparalleled in the world, 
with no other country achieving such progress. The success of China's high-speed rail can be attributed to its extraordinary technological capabilities. High-speed rail is an immensely complex mega-project that demands robust technological support across various aspects, including construction, vehicle manufacturing, operation maintenance, and signal control. China's train control technology is at the forefront globally. As early as 2004, China established a complete train operation control system capable of supporting trains running at speeds over 300 km per hour. Additionally, China boasts the world's largest high-speed rail monitoring and control system and traction power supply data acquisition system, fully equipped to facilitate train coupling and large group operations. These cutting-edge technologies enable trains running at around 350 km per hour to have a continuous power supply, an unparalleled feat. The successful operation of China's high-speed rail is closely linked to the support of China's robust power grid. Let's now explore China's state grid. While many may view it as a financially powerful state-owned enterprise, it goes beyond that. Indeed, the state grid's financial strength is undeniable. For instance, in 2016, its revenue reached a staggering $320 billion, with profits totaling $10 billion, making it the top company among China's Fortune 500 and second globally. However, these achievements are not solely due to their monopoly status but are strongly underpinned by advanced scientific and technological capabilities. An excellent example of this is the ultra-high voltage transmission technology in which China leads the world. As early as 2019, China completed the world's first UHV alternating current power line, providing a stable power supply to billions of people. Even in the challenging and remote regions of the West, where construction faces high costs and scarce labor, the state grid is dedicated to providing stable electricity, benefiting countless people nationwide. Furthermore, the state grid has been expanding its energy network overseas, with foreign investments exceeding $10 billion. Backbone energy networks invested in and operated by China's state grid can be found in seven countries and regions, including Portugal, the Philippines, Brazil, and Australia. Moreover, the state grid has invested in power transmission projects in many countries and regions worldwide. It is worth mentioning that all these overseas investment projects have been profitable, with no recorded losses. Such technological prowess and service level are unparalleled worldwide. In addition to railways, China's road construction is equally astonishing. In just over a decade, from 2005 to 2017, China's expressway length surged to over 70,000 kilometers, with a total mileage of 123,000 kilometers, firmly securing its position at the top of global rankings. In comparison, the United States, following China, has a total mileage of only 103,000 kilometers. The development of China's expressways has significantly facilitated information exchange and trade, providing robust support for the booming express delivery industry. China's express delivery industry is highly developed, boasting efficient logistics and affordable prices, an achievement that is challenging to replicate in other countries. In China's rapid development of infrastructure in recent years, basic materials such as steel and cement have also played a crucial role. In 1949, China's steel production was a mere 150,000 tons, less than a pound per person on average, which was quite scarce. Today, China's steel and cement production has reached astonishing levels. For example, in 2015 alone, China's crude steel production reached 800 million tons, an increase of 450 million tons or 125.9% from 2005's 360 million tons. At the same time, China's cement production also ranked among the top 10 globally. Even in 2015, the rapid development of China's cement industry has left even the former world's richest person, Bill Gates, amazed, calling China the cement king of the world. These examples clearly illustrate China's impressive achievements in infrastructure in recent years, garnering global attention and setting a positive example. 
The title of infrastructure maniac for China is well-deserved. China's successful experiences in infrastructure are not only significant for domestic development but also have a positive impact and provide inspiration for global infrastructure construction. China's remarkable engineering and construction strength has left many foreigners believing that China is already a developed country. What are your thoughts on China's amazing capabilities in constructing mega-projects? We would love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.